All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you for checking out another episode, of course, Winning with Blends. Now, today, let's look at a brand new update called Dub Techno Exports. We got new sounds. Let's load some up right now. Of course, so what we have actually is audio clips. Of course, you can use those for triggering different drum sounds and all sorts of different cool sounds as well as um, direct wave samplers. So you have, again, you have a drum kit, a new drum set, some new drum sets. You have audio clips for those drums. And of course you can use them however you want, but then you also have direct wave exports. So as you see, there are a variety, maybe about 15 or so each. We can kind of go through some of the sounds just to, just to test them out. All right. Right, these sounds got some really nice atmosphere. Let, let's keep diving in. Okay, so, ooh, that's actually really, really, really nice. Okay, so what I did was I created a little something. Let's just take a listen to it, all right? Okay, now this is using all stock sounds. Well, I mean, all sounds from this new update, all right? Pretty cool. Nice sounds, okay, so, Let's look at a couple of the, of the things that I had to do uh, to get this to work. So I noticed that when I loaded my drum patch, as you see here, these drum sounds were not triggering, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Now, let me show you, right? So let me open up uh, the drums and let me go to, I guess, right here, Dub Tech Exports. All right, let's click that. And you'll notice, let's just say, for example, we choose drum set two. I've already did done dub tech one. That's what you're hearing right now. And now dub tech, sorry, dub techno drum set two is what I'll load. But you'll notice that, look at this. None of the sounds are triggering anything, right? So what I had to do to make this work and what you'll have to do, unless this will get fixed. I don't know if it's, guys, I'll be honest. I don't know if this was done deliberately or if this was accidentally done but let's go into it a little bit deeper and i'll show you what i mean so we have the drum kit right here so that's our drums let's just let's just extend this to the max just for now okay but let's just go to audio clips because a lot of these are we're in the audio clips section so we'll scroll down we've got all of our different exports from the different sound packs that we've got in the past but as you see dub tech dub techno exports okay you have chords so let's play some of those right now okay you're hearing some of these sounds right now, right? Like that, that as well. Tons of cool sounds. Ooh. Very nice sounds. So what you're gonna have to do is, what you can do is if you look over here, you'll notice that some of these are actually, like we can we can actually load these sounds, right? You see them changing right over there. If you, if you take a look closely, these sounds can also be loaded. Snare drums different different sounds let's go for uh symbols let's see right you'll notice that length is changing right there okay so i wanted to show you that they are all coming they all come in clips essentially so let's just remove this channel for now so what we're going to do is we're going to dive into these drums and we're going to look here and this is how we're going to customize our drum kit using the new dub tech exports okay so you'll see here, the intended drum kit would be to have a, a kick DT kick two. So you're gonna go to your drum sequencer and you're going to select click this first patch right here and you're going to choose, you're gonna load a sample. So this is a DT kick two. Let's just remember that name. We're gonna head over here to dub tech exports and we're going to look for, of course, kicks and then we're going to look for a DT kick O2. So that is the kick that they suggest or that they prepared essentially for this particular spot here this pad now again look at this this one has nothing loaded so that's dt snare 03 we'll do the same we'll load a sample we'll go to dub techno exports okay and then we'll go to snares and then we'll go to dt snare 02 and there you go now it's working 
Okay, you can use this with your MIDI set, your MIDI triggers, your MIDI controller, your piano, your typing keyboard. Um, I guess uh, what else? What else? You can, you can use it for many things. Let's see. So let's go. You can use it. Sorry, with many tools. Now let's go to the next one, DT Snare Four. Let's do that here. Again, we'll just load a couple more. Okay, so Dub Techno. We're gonna go to Snares and we'll go to DT Snare Four. And then of course the next will be Clap. So we go to Clap. That's Clap Two. Let's load that sample. Again, dub techno, load sample, go do claps and clap02. Guys, I did this for some kits already. So I've got some kits already prepared. As you hear, uh, the music you're hearing now is actually 100% these sounds, okay? So let's go to the hi-hats and let's go to hi-hats two that's closed. As you see down here, this HHO, which is open. This is closed. Now this is HHO two, which is open. So I'm gonna see if I can fill out this drum kit one, maybe one or two more sounds. Uh, this is the open. So let's go to open two and let's go HHO, okay. Let's actually do a couple more. I know I said it's gonna do a couple, but I really do wanna fill this out. Okay, oh, nice. So this is a hi-hat or cymbals. This is essentially cymbal one. So let's just load that up. Go to, again, dub techno exports, go to cymbals, and this is DT symbol right here. There you go. Okay, nice. And let's do one more, absolutely the last one for now. DT Percussion 02, we're gonna load that up again. Dub Techno Exports, go to Percussion. DT Perc 02 is the one. Okay, and you guys, of course, can fill out your own. Now, of course, if you guys take a look at my previous video on how to create um, custom drum kits, you guys can definitely watch that. I will tag that as well. Guys, thank you. Again, it's Justin Blends, we're back for updates for you FL Studio Mobile producers. Check the comment section, uh, you know, sorry, leave a comment in the comment section, of course. Give a thumbs up if you guys like this. Also, check the description because I'm doing, I'm essentially adding some, some gear and such that I use, some things based on requests as well. Just guys, essentially things that I think would be really beneficial to anybody who wants to to dive in a little bit deeper and join me on this quest, this mission, right? I've got a video upcoming that shows you a really cool um, USB, sorry, Wi-Fi MIDI controller. And that will be dropping maybe today or tomorrow, but let's get into it a little bit deeper just to show you guys kind of what I did here, just a little bit. So I got my drums here. Let me solo these here, okay? So I got this one here, right? this percussion and these chords. Okay, simple. Okay, now let's go down to the next one. Let's let's uh, get these drums on. It's a hi-hat. Simple, just a hi-hat. This is chords. And as you'll, you'll notice, I completely separated these tracks because I want, I just want to have a little bit more control. Even though I could have used the exact same setup as we have right here, and I could have made adjustments to the auxiliary sends that we have. So I could have sent each of these, like I said in previous videos, again, the same customizing drums and you know making custom drum kits. You could send each of these sounds to their own auxiliary channel for parallel processing. So I definitely, absolutely really love that. And of course I added some, just some classic house bass right here. Okay. And of course, a little bit of extra sounds here, right? Let's just let that, okay, nice. All right. Okay. All right, guys, look, I hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, all right, guys? Again, let's win together. As always, take it easy, all right?